Work on hold. With these words, EU Enlargement Commissioner Stefan Fiule announced on Sunday via Twitter that Brussels is suspending further talks with Ukraine on a landmark trade and political pact. The Commission added that Kiev needs to show a clear commitment to sign the deal in order to continue the discussions. The Commissioner was clear in his tweet that since there was no response to what he was expecting and discussing with the Deputy Prime Minister, then there is no basis to proceed with that process which was started last Thursday. So there was no clear commitment coming from Ukrainian side about the resolve to sign the association agreement. And uh, there were these um, different statements and indications making the impression that there is a growing gap between the declarations and the concrete deeds and actions. The announcement came as reportedly 200,000 people faced freezing temperatures in Kiev while protesting against the decision of President Yanukovych to not sign the EU pact in favor of closer economic ties with Russia. Yanukovych is due to visit Moscow on Tuesday to meet with Russian President Vladimir Putin. Meanwhile, the Russian Foreign Affairs Minister is also in Brussels, where he will discuss the Ukrainian situation with European ministers. Tür zur Europäischen Union, sie steht weiter für die Ukraine offen. Der russische Außenminister Sergei Lavrov wird heute zu Gesprächen auch nach Brüssel kommen. Hierbei ist aus meiner Sicht wichtig, dass diese Gespräche auch unverändert stattfinden, gerade in Zeiten, in denen es Meinungsunterschiede gibt, sind Gespräche besonders notwendig, ist der Austausch besonders notwendig. Und Russland bleibt unser strategischer Partner. Auch wenn wir nicht alles so sehen wie Russland, ist es wichtig, dass wir im Gespräch bleiben, dass der Dialog auch fortgesetzt wird. I don't believe that the crisis in Ukraine should have a negative impact on our relations with Russia. It does mean, though, that we have to look very seriously about the way in which countries make their decisions and are entitled to make their decisions. Earlier last week, Fule pledged more aid to Kiev and to help it negotiate a loan from the IMF if it signs the agreement.